Hi everyone, welcome to the another session on JMeter tutorial. So in the previous sessions, as of now, we have learned how we can test our web applications, APIs or database with the help of JMeter. And the, in the today's session, we are going to learn how we can test the FTP sites using JMeter. So let's get started and if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. So first of all, what is this FTP? FTP is file transfer protocol and it is used to transfer files between computers on internet. So I'm going to write also, it is used to transfer files between two computers on internet okay and I will write files so there can be any file it can be a document it can be video file it can be zip file etc okay so this is FTP that is file transfer protocol and now before moving on to JMeter that is how we can test FTP sites using JMeter. Let's first have a basic understanding of this FTP how it works. So basically it works on client server protocol. So I'm going to write client and I'm going to write server. So there is going to be a client machine and there is going to be a server machine and this file transfer process is going to happen between this client and this server. So we need two machines that is first is the client and the second is the server. So the client I am going to take as local machine. So the client will be the local machine and there need to be a server and this is going to be a FTP server. So we need a FTP server now. So I'm going to use an FTP server in which no license cost is involved. It is free of cost. So let's see what is that server. So if you navigate to this website, so this website provides an FTP server. This is the FTP URL. So this is the FTP server. This is the FTP username and the password. So we are going to use these details. So I'm going to write FTP server details as this is the FTP URL. This is the username and the password. And I'm going to provide this website also from where you can get this one. Okay, so now we have the client machine and we have the server machine details also with us. Now we want a connection between the client machine and the server machine using this FTP protocol. Okay, I'm going to write FTP. So how we can do that? So we can do that in several ways. So one of the ways is you can use command line or you can use some GUIs as well. So I'm going to use one GUI for the connection. So I'm going to use FileZilla. So let me show you how can you download that one. So for that you will move to this website and in the website you will download this download FileZilla client and once you click on download a .exe file is going to be downloaded and and let me cancel this one as I have already downloaded this one in my system. And once you execute this one that then FileZilla will be downloaded in your system and you can open this one. So let me copy this one and let me provide the details over here. FileZilla download. So this is the website you can use and this GUI of the FileZilla looks like this. So here is the host name, username and password you need to provide. So I have taken the host name, the similar host name from here. So let me provide the details again. So this is going to be the host name. Let me take it from here. And the similar for the username. is going to be the username and I'm going to take the password so this is going to be the password for me 
and there is no requirement to provide the port number so we are going to click on quick connect so it says that already connected so let me click on ok so that connection got happened so you can see from the status also we got connection as successful directory listing to this is successful so we have a connection now between the client and the server so if you see this left hand side this is the details of my local machine so this is the directory of my local machine so if you i'm going to click on this one so i'm going to take this folder this is the similar folder which i have in my local machine and if you navigate to the right hand side this is the folder location of the remote site that is this is the location of the ftp server okay so what we can do here we can transfer the file from the client to the server and we can also transfer the file from the server to the client okay so let's see how we can do that so first of all let me transfer the file from my client machine that is my local machine to the server machine so let's see how we can do that and we are doing it over here and once we understand this one we are going to do this in with the help of jmeter so we can check the performance of the server also okay so let's click on this document this is the demo 2 this is a demo 2 file which is in my local system so if you right click on that there is an option to upload so click on upload and it's going to be uploaded to this site so it says transfer finished and this document get uploaded over here so if you right click over here and you can click on view or edit so you can view from here also so this says demo to test ftp so this was the file which was available in my local system demo 2 and it got transferred over here now let me remove this let me remove this one from my local system and let's refresh this file zilla so that demo 2 is not available now in the in my local system and let me upload that demo 2 from the server to my local system that is to the client so if you right click on demo you have this download option so what happens from here if you are transferring anything it is set as upload and if you are transferring from the server it is called download so click on download and it will be downloaded to this folder so it says transfer finished and you can see over here this demo 2 is available the file which we had deleted it came appeared again so this is the file got downloaded from the server okay so now we have understood that we can upload and download from the client to the server and vice versa so let's understand this in the jmeter how we can do this process in the jmeter so let's understand that so for that i am inside jmeter and i am going to create a new test so right click on test add threads and the thread group i'm going to add and inside the thread group i need to add a sampler so for that i'll click on add sampler and we are going to take this ftp request so click on the ftp request and we need to provide the details over here so this i would say as ftp request one so what scenario we are going to test we are going to get this demo 2 in my local system i'm going to delete this one so demo 2 file is not available over here as of now and i want this demo 2 file to be uploaded over here and what is the content you can see from here this says demo 2 test ftp so i'm going to download this from this server to my local system using jmeter and this is called as get that is we are retrieving we are retrieving the document from the server to the client so we are going to do this operation that is the get operation and here you need to provide the server name of the ftp site so i'm going to take the server name as this one so this is my server name and uh, in this case port number is not required so i'm going to give the remote file so what is my remote file so my remote file is demo2 
in this path in this path remote site path my file is demo2.txt so i'm going to write demo2.txt and you need to give the path of the local file as well so i can give the path from here or you can take the path from here also so you need to give the path and you need to give the file name also so you can take the similar file name or you can change the file name also so let's take the similar file name as of now so i don't have this demo2 in my this folder and once we will execute the request that should be available after the execution okay and uh, this gui is also required if you are not using G this gui then you are not able to get the path you are not able to understand the file location of the remote server for that also this gui is required okay so uh, so that you can get the file location to put over here because if you you don't know the file location you have the server name with you you have the username you have the password with you but if you don't know the remote file path which we got to know from this gui if you don't know the remote file path this is the path that is slash we are not inside the folder suppose we would be inside the folder then it will be a long path so if you are not knowing the path then you won't be able to provide the details over here so for that also you need to look into this filezilla or any other gui okay so we have provided the remote file local file and we have taken this get that is retrieve request we are going to retrieve the document from the server to the local machine and we need to provide the username and password as well so let's take this username and let's take the password as well so have we have provided the entire details and let me add a listener to see the result so i have added a listener also and let's save this file i'm going to write ftp test and let's do the executions click on the start so you can see my request got executed so this is the sampler result and its response code says 200 response message get says okay and we are going to check whether this demo2 got created in my local system so this is the demo2 which got created and if you open this one we have this demo2 test ftp successful so my test is successful and now we are going to add one more request so right click add sampler and the ftp request so i'm going to give the name as 2 and now we have used this function that is get retrieve function and now we are going to use this put that is store function we will be storing a file from the local system to the server so let's take the details from here only let's take the similar details and now let's give the local file name so let's create a file i'm going to create a file ftp demo i'm going to write this is ftp demo i'm going to save it and i'm going to provide this path over here my file name is ftp demo this is my local file which i want to put inside the remote file so i'm going to select this put method so we will put this file inside the remote file and here i need to give the path also and the file name so we can take the same file name or the different file name so as of now let's take the same file .txt and we can see from here if we refresh this one 
so there is no file name as ftp demo let's do the execution let's see our expectation is to have a file over here with the name ftp demo and let's see so we have provided the server name remote file local file and we have taken the method as put let's provide the username and password as well so i'm going to take the username as this and now let's disable this request let's disable this one and let's do the execution with this request now and let's see the result so for that clear on this result and let's do the execution now and my execution is started now and let's wait for the result so it's ex so the execution is over so if you can see this is a sampler result it says response code 200 response message as okay and if you see over the filezilla that file that means this ftp demo file should be available over the server so let's check over the filezilla also so if we are in the filezilla and if you can see in the remote section so this ftp demo got created over here so the execution is successful now so we are able to retrieve the data from the server also and we are able to post the data to the server also so in this way we can work with the ftp sites we can test the ftp sites using jmeter and now let's look some other options as well so what is this binary mode use binary mode so we as of now if you can see in the request you can see from here that it this the default one is the ascii mode so we since we have not checked this binary mode so the default mode is taken as this so if you want so if you have the image files or the zip files with you which you want to upload or download then in that case you need to select this binary mode and what is this save file in response so as of now the response data is empty the response body response headers everything is empty and if you check this one so that is the file will be saved in the response okay so according to the requirement you can check or uncheck this use binary mode or save file is in response so in this way you can work with the jmeter to test your ftp sites and if you have any query please put in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries okay that's all for the session and have a nice day thank you